guys it's Isabel and today I'm back with a new video but I'm actually back with a different kind of video um, 2018 is here so happy I almost said happy Thanksgiving <laughs> happy new year to all of you guys I hope you had a wonderful year I love when the new year comes because I just feel like it's a new way to just start over all the past stuff all the horrific things that have happened just put it and leave it in 2017 and make a whole new year and make it something that's special and positive it's all about positivity you have a clean slate and you're able to just change all the bad things that have happened and bring in great new things but i want to talk about this whole thing that's been going on with logan paul because this is actually like ridiculous and i think it's sad that this is even happening and that i'm even making this video but it's just been irking me because every single time i scroll through my twitter this is what I see. Um, I, I honestly don't even know where to begin because there's so many things that have happened. And I was never a fan of him in the first place. Like I knew, like I respect the fact that like people can make a living off of YouTube and like they're doing their thing and I respect that. But when it gets to like things like this where you're filming people's suicide and making a joke out of it, and you're monetizing it and you're making money off of it i think that that is insane and i think it's his fault but it's also youtube's fault and that's one of the things i want to cover today i want to i want to cover the fact that youtube hasn't been doing anything to stop this stuff like how are you going to keep this monetized instead of taking the video down of someone who literally just took their life because they thought that that was better for them and here you have somebody like in the woods of the suicide forest I forgot what it's called so excuse me but um, I believe it's in Japan if I'm not mistaken but he's literally in the forest and he's filming this guy's corpse and he's laughing about it and making jokes about it but then states that it's suicide awareness but it's not he said nothing to spread awareness of anything. He's filming somebody's corpse. That is not how you spread awareness. And it's actually such a trigger thing to some people to see somebody's corpse in a forest where people are committing suicide and here you are trying to spread awareness. That's not spreading awareness at all. That's making things worse. And there's just like, that's one thing. That's the thing that started this for me. And then there's videos of him and Jake Paul saying the N-word, which I will never, ever, ever accept. I don't, like, I have friends who say it and it bugs me and I put them in their place when they say it because I don't, I don't like it. I really don't. I mean, there's some cases where it doesn't bother me as much, but it still bothers me at the same time. And it's kind of just like, like, I understand if it's in a lyric, oh my god, like, okay, but like, at the same time, I would just rather people who are not black to just not say it. I would just rather that. And that video pissed me off. And then there was another video of him in Japan completely disrespecting the whole culture, saying, oh, gotta be respectful. And then five seconds later, he's just like... Like making fun of their accents, making fun of their culture, making fun of the clothes that they wear, the designs, and trashing their items. And that's not funny. Like the whole boot gang thing that has been going on in 2017 with that guy who just is like ruining people's lives. And people who are working minimum wage jobs, they don't get paid enough to deal with shit like this. And I, I just don't understand when... This kind of stuff became funny when disrespecting other people's jobs, disrespecting people in general became funny. Like I, I watch these videos and I cringe because I don't find any of that funny and I honestly don't know where this came from. <clears throat> I don't know. I just think it's sad how YouTube will block videos for like two seconds of a song or they'll block They'll, excuse me, the block videos of like lesbian couples trying to do it. Like I'm sure that um, Damo and Chrissy had have videos blocked because they are obviously gay, but they're successful. 
And it's sad that like upcoming like lesbian couples or bi couples who want to um, make it as far as them, there's nothing wrong with that. It's the same thing as straight people having a relationship and coming up, like the Ace family. It's the same thing. It's just the same sex. So this is literally 2018, and when has this become a problem? Like, I, I just think it needs to stop. Like, we're literally in 2018. There's laws that are being passed saying that it's okay, so why are people pressed about it? Why is YouTube deleting videos of people trying to come up? I understand if you're doing inappropriate things, obviously that's against the YouTube rules, but, like, being gay is not against any type of rule. I've never read... A YouTube handbook that said that you can't post gay videos like obviously like porn stuff obviously but like people aren't doing that people are getting their videos blocked for the most ridiculous reasons and here somebody is recording someone's corpse for heaven's sake and nothing's being done about it and I'm very glad that I see there's a lot of backlash to him because he deserves this I don't feel bad and it's sad as well to see young girls who are supporting him even though he's doing this to people he's hurting people who are depressed he's hurting people with anxiety with mental illness in general by recording something and making fun of it like how do you think that makes people with mental illnesses feel it makes them feel like wow their lives really don't matter and maybe they should do this because maybe that'll be better because people think it's funny and it's really not and that's what people need to understand, that, like, mental illness is not a joke. Being suicidal is not a joke. This is serious, and a lot of people have it, and they need more people helping them to try and get rid of these things that are going on with them and help them to become better instead of people making fun of them. It's honestly ridiculous. I could go on and on and on about this, but it's already been, like, eight minutes but uh, comment below if you guys have anything you want to say. Um, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, just let me know. I won't be mad if you disagree, but I would really like to know why you disagree because I think Logan Paul is in the wrong. I think Jake Paul is in the wrong. I think the whole family, she just throw the whole fucking family out. Just throw them all out because it's just ridiculous. It's repetitive. This is not the first thing that either of them have done. It's been a history of things, and it's just, it took until now for something to happen, which I'm happy about, but at the same time, this should have happened a long time ago. But, um, Happy New Year, I love you guys so much, and if any of you are struggling with mental illness, I want you to stay strong. Know that I love you, and someone else loves you as well, and you belong on this earth, and, um, I never want you to think that you don't. So, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it, thank you for listening to me, I love you, and... I'll see you next video.